You can't please everyone, so please God instead. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Look, a glutton and a wine-bibber, a friend of tax collectors and sinners, but wisdom is justified by her children. A picture of a woman pulling out her hair is the perfect illustration of the spiritual points we need to make today for your upliftment and to inject wisdom in your heart. We will pull our hair out in stress when we try to be everything to all people at the same time. It is not possible. Even more, we will feel guilty when we are not able to please everyone out there. Well, no more shame, no more guilt, no more being conned by those who play guilt trips on you only to take advantage of you. You and I must realize that not even God can satisfy all people at once. Matthew chapter 11 verse 18 and 19 shows us this. God sent John the Baptist and Jesus to turn the Jewish people from their sins. Instead of doing so and honoring these godly men, they criticized and murdered them. John came with a self-denial lifestyle and they criticized him. Jesus came with a social lifestyle when dealing with others and they criticized him. Why do we think we are any different than those men? Our expectations are too high. Remember, as long as you are serving God to the fullest, loving your fellow person in life, giving to those truly in need, and living in peace with all men as much as possible, you have done your part. Stop stressing over trying to please everyone, because the moment you embark on this quest, you have failed. Please God, and that is all that you have to do. If you do, then you are relieving yourself of unnecessary stress. The godly ones will recognize that you are doing your best. God bless you. Thanks for listening. This is a ministry of the Henry Street Church of Christ.